मैं आज खाने में क्या खाऊं? मुझे अपना वजन कम करना है। मुझे शादी करने की जरूरत है। I don't know what to do. I want to get rich. Do you go a day without having a thought, without feeling an emotion? Do you practice emotional hygiene? Imagine this is your mind. It's the sum of your brain and your body. Emotional hygiene is the brushing your teeth, eating, getting dressed, putting on a band-aid, going to the gym, but for your mind. It's your daily nourishment and maintenance. So how do you practice emotional hygiene? Do you know where your emotions, sensations, thoughts and actions begin, end and interact? Do you need a punching bag or a vada bow? If you identify your need correctly, you'll fulfill it. You need to allow yourself to feel all your feelings without judging yourself for any of them. When you feel them, you can identify them. And when you face rejection, failure, loss, betrayal, any of these to any degree, you probably have an emotional injury. Feel it, identify it, treat it. All of us talk to ourselves, but sometimes we just say mean things. Would you say any of this to a friend? Allow yourself to fail, to cry, to learn and grow. Make sure you put soap between your toes, get enough sleep every night, have fun, challenge your mind, change your pad every 6 hours even if it isn't full, celebrate your wins, massage yourself, it all matters. Evolution has conditioned our body for survival. Neuroscience will tell you that to survive, we're more likely to focus on the negative. Our minds must protect us from the negatives first. Then happy things can follow. That's why sometimes our mind fixates too much on the negatives. This means we need to keep reminding ourselves about the good in our lives. So the next time you smell Nani's parathas and a wave of nostalgia sweeps over you, feel it and smile. Unfortunately, people don't come up to you and say that anymore. But everyone wants love and friendship. Starting and maintaining connections takes effort. You want someone to understand how you feel, you have to tell them. Actively build wholesome, fulfilling relationships that nourish you. You need to balance your life with input and output. Watching TV is input, talking about your favorite TV show is output. Reading is input, writing is output. Both are important, but you need more output. Make sure you're actively using your brain and body more than passively receiving input. You go to a tuition teacher for math, you go to a barber for a haircut, you call a carpenter to fix things, you go to a doctor when you're sick. We take help from so many people in so many areas in our lives and we go to the person who is trained to help us. It's not weak, it's normal. When you're struggling emotionally and mentally, go to a professional. Emotions are also a normal part of being human. So normal that we forget about them. Let's not. 